ready. Ready or not, here I come. You can hide. I'm gonna find you and make you want me. <laughs> anyway, I'm just having a cool time, so bear with me. I'm just happy, okay? Echo, 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 see, see. Hey, so I know you ask yourself, can you stay alone without your family in a foreign land? When I say your family, it could be your parents, it could be your wife, your husband, your kids. Can you do that? The answer is yes. So far as you're still connected with them, then definitely you have no fears. Just that at some point, you would wish they were physically here with you. Yes, I am just coming from Superstore. The stuff are in my bag here. Yes, and guess what? Myself, some ingredients, some food stuffs. If I want to concentrate and do stuff here, I have to be eating the spaghetti and the whatnot. But that is not what I'm here for. I need to eat the local food from Ghana. Maybe at some point, Oh, I may be adjusted to what they eat here, but for now, I can't. I have to be eating my local food. But I love this is what they call fall, right? In your in the Canadian uh, weather. So because I feel like the trees are kind of like looking fresh. And I learned and I read this is the beginning. I mean, after this, then we are looking at the winter. But it's pretty cold here. It's very cold right now, but I'm just trying to take my cool, you know. Anyway, so about having your family here. I am here alone without my family, without my kids, without my wife. I'm just here all alone. And I am somebody who does not know how to cook. Yes, I'll be very honest with you. I don't know how to cook. So back in Ghana, even if I'm hungry, and I'm, uh, and I'm in the house, I have to wait for someone to come and cook for me. Yes, that was how lazy I was when it comes to cooking. Even if I'm hungry, like super hungry, I will still have to wait for her to come and cook for me. But when I go here, I realize that travel can really change you. For, for sure, like travel can really change you. For the past two weeks that I've been here, I've been going to the market by myself. I just go to the market and then buy some stuff that I need. But usually I do that on a video call because she'll be on the line and I'll be like, okay, this is what I want to prepare. What should I buy? Buy this, buy this quantity, buy that. And then I head home and then she teaches me how to cook. So this is how I've been trying to survive as, as an immigrant living in Canada without my family where I cannot cook. I do not know how to cook but like I said um, she's been helping me a lot with cooking and I'm very glad that she's been doing this because if not I'll be in some soup man like I wouldn't know what to do so usually I go to the market or uh, to the superstore I buy some few stuff that I need like tomato um, onion uh, what else oil I mean I buy all these things and then on a phone call, like a video call, shout out to WhatsApp for making this thing happen. So on a video call, I call her and she says, okay, cut the onions into slice, uh, <laughs> cut the tomatoes. I remember one time, the first time that I wanted to cook and then I was ready to cook and then I wasn't finding the blender in the, in the I mean, the place that I stay. It's an Airbnb anyway, yeah. I stay in an Airbnb. That is one other, uh, conversation we will have um, after I'm super settled with everything okay so the Airbnb that I say doesn't have uh, a blender so she asked me to cut the onions into smaller pieces and then cut the pepper into smaller pieces because as at that time I didn't have powdered pepper so it was just um, the, the fresh one so she asked me to cut it into pieces and then the onion and then fry them for like some few minutes and then I did after that, I had to put in my egg and stuff like that. And guess what happened? I don't know whether I did it well or I didn't do it well, but 
the washroom, the toilet, was my best friend for three days. Three solid days. The, 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 bath, the, the toilet was my best friend for three days. Maybe I didn't do it well. I don't know. Maybe I didn't do it well. Because, or maybe I added too much pepper. I don't know what, but I guess I didn't do it well. So I was like, I remember that time was when I made a video with the brother from um, Trinidad. If you remember that video that I did with him, he could even attest to the fact that when I was, when I went to his place, I had to use the washroom for like two times. It was crazy. But hey, I'm still learning, still learning to cook. So today, it's a Thursday, uh, the sun is up. I'm always happy when I see the sun. So uh, I went to buy some stuff, you know, that I really want to cook something with. I still have some stew in the fridge. Um, we did cabbage stew. Challenge me, cooking cabbage stew. Shout out to my wife. She's done pretty good. I mean, um, she's done well. And she has certificates, okay? Proficiency one, proficiency two in cooking. So she's the best cook in the world. Shout out to you. Yes. Um, she passed with distinction in both the exams that she wrote, you know, cooking in prof proficiency in cooking. Yeah, so she's done well. So she's been teaching me how to cook. So I'll be coming your way sometime with stuff like that, you know, while she's on video teaching me how to cook. But now, since I have some stew in the fridge, what I do is I buy my banana. No, no banana. I have banana anyway. But I buy my sausage, I buy my eggs, I buy plantain. I love plantain. So I cook plantain, just one of it. So that is what I'm going to do today. When I get home, that is what I'm going to cook. So I cook just one of it and then i heat some stew and then i'm good with it so basically that is how i've been trying to survive by myself when it comes to cooking so living in someone's land and you don't get good i think i have to make a list and then ask her to teach me all that because if not spaghetti will be my friend for the rest of my stay here anyway this is the airbnb that i'm staying a beautiful place and if you are coming to canada you feel you need to you need a place to stay like an airbnb i recommend this because it's very good i mean the guy there uh shane i mean he's perfect i mean he treats people nicely he will have time for you take you out Whatever you need, all the information that you need, you're gonna get it. So let's go inside and cook some. Alright, so there's this song that I like. I wanna sing it. If 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 you guys know, I know like the local, like the Ghanaians who know how to sing it. Say adi chimia, na mi unu wenyu nyamu bima, mi di manu beka, iradi wa ya di e. Say adi chimia. Nami unu wenyu nyamu biema midi manu beka rali waya So it means this in in English means if if I wake up and I see the sun, if I see the sunlight, I would have to go on my knees and say, God, you've done it. So I'm just coming from superstore like I mentioned while I was on my way to get some bread. Not like bread. Single man, staying up by myself. And then I got some grapes. I mean, you need to stay healthy. I got this green one, really. So the, the green ones were kind of like cheap. Like two dollars, two dollars and some cents. I got myself, um, uh, what do you call it? Sausage. Yeah, usually in the morning, that's what I cook. That's what I was referring to. This is um, plantain, the green one. So I prefer this one than the red one. Because last week I, I ate all red, like the ripe one. So this time, we're going for this. In my banana, I don't do it with it. You know, like I'm saying, 
travel makes you learn a lot because when i came i'm not able to eat like three times a day i don't even, even feel like eating three times a day because i don't know so in the morning usually i either take banana one of this okay one of this that is the banana okay i take one banana and then i'll be sitting down on my laptop editing video doing some stuff and then around two three o'clock like right now i feel like i'm hungry that's why i want to get this thing so then i'll just cook one one of this just one and add it to the stew that i did let me show you the stew hey shout out to my friend jones so the brother that I, I usually take pictures with when I'm in Canada, he's called Jones. So the wife and the children came to Canada and they brought me fried fish. Come on, egg. This is how to live like an immigrant. Some, some stuff here. That's my stew. I take the one plantain. I don't know how you people do it, but in Ghana, you just cut the the back of it like this. <laughs> when you stay in the house and you don't learn how to cook, these are some of the difficulties you face when you travel. Just this thing, I can't even peel it. Cut them into like pieces, like maybe that's how I like it. Four. I'll be good with this. This one is even more. Because me, I don't really like eating, right? So. Mm -hmm. So this is steam that I did. I need to heat it before the planting is ready. So don't also forget that the fact that I am in, I'm not in Ghana, doesn't mean that I'm not working. I'm still working. Uh, two days ago, we cleared a land for someone in Asebu, uh, my senior man. He's even invited me to come. He's in Florida, right? Big up yourself. You know, positive people we are working with, they give you time. But limited time. I mean, if you stay, if you say this is the time you're gonna work, you need to work on time. And just within this week, we had the allocation, we did the clearing, and we did the borehole. So now the next thing is we're gonna get a poly tank and put it on it, and then boom, work start. So Asebo is still going on. You know, Asebo has issues. Yes, I personally would say I agree that Asebo has issues. But it's a beautiful project that is going on. I mean, people have issues. Yes, I've spoken to people. You know, we can't understand one or two. We can't, I'm part of it, understand one or two things. So I hope something better comes out. But we are still here. We are working. I have, an, I have a business that I've registered. It's called Eckes Possibilities Consult. So I have people that I pay. I work with. I pay every month. As I'm not there. Still work is ongoing. Like I said, just two days ago, we've done the, the, the clearing of the land and the borehole, and then we need to put poly tank on it. Then next is get a sand, get gravels, and then we do the foundation. Boom! Ready to go. I think this is okay. It's been like 15 minutes. Those of you who know how to cook, if you are cooking plantain, how long does it take? Like, seriously, I'm not good with cooking. It's not a joke but i'm still learning and i will learn it's okay it's ready ready or not here i come you can die i'm gonna find you and make you want me anyway so this is this is um, 
um, green plantain with cabbage stew and chicken. So I did all this by myself. Mm. Yummy. <laughs> Let me show you this. Mm. Oh, look at this. Yummy, yummy. So we're ready. We're ready for lunch. Cooking my own lunch. You think it's a joke? Cooking my own lunch. Echo Simpson. My own lunch. Like I said, shout out to whoever has been teaching me how to cook. Shout out to her. Yeah, get my, my water. So, a friend advised that if you want to drink this kind of water, like from the tap, you have to open it for a while, let it flow for a few seconds, and then. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want hot water because the weather is too cold. Yeah. Mm, hot water it is. So I invited to my meal. I prepared this myself. This is a uh, green plantain. Brazibun. Oh, yeah, you kind of brazibun. Brazilian berry. So this is not ripe. Plantain that is not ripe. The green one. And then this is cabbage stew. You feel the, can you see the, um, the vapor? Hey. <laughs> and then I have my chicken. I did it myself. So shout out to whoever taught me. Thank God for this meal, we pray. Amen. Right there. Very hot. So, someone was asking me, um, how do we eat this? So, you just... I think the plantain doesn't have... A taste does it I don't know how to describe the taste but the complement adds the taste to the plantain so you break let me show you it you break the plantain like this and then you fetch it you fetch the stew with it this cabbage stew. And then. <laughs> off you go. It was chicken to the mad